Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we are going to be taking on the super class only stage of Super Battle Road using the new Piccolo and the Worthy Rivals team. Now, obviously those of you who follow me on Twitter or have been keeping an eye on uh, everything that's been going on, I didn't really summon for Piccolo, I did a few multis and um, they were pretty much all very bad. So. Uh, I decided not to bother. Um, I was recording them at the time, but I decided not to bother keeping them. Uh, literally, I did like three multis, and each one was only the GSSR, and they were all just some like random unfeatured unit. Um, so there you go. We tried. We we shot our shot, but we failed. So <laughs> I don't have the new Piccolo. But fortunately, compared to JP, when the Worthy Rivals category first dropped, we of course have the Awakening for the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, who has a 120% to all stats and three key leader skill for the Worthy Rivals category. So technically, we had the category available on Global um, before the Piccolo actually came out. So now that we finally have him, um, we can try him out obviously using this guy as our leader and then him as a friend. Which is really useful because I know the general sentiment across a lot of the community was that a lot of people weren't going to bother summoning for Piccolo. And I know quite a few people who, like myself, decided to only go for a couple of multis just to see how it would go. And uh, obviously did not manage to pull him. So... Basically, I'm going to go through the team a little bit here. So we, of course, have the friend Piccolo. Um, we're going to be pairing him up with the MVP 17, uh, mainly because they both have shocking speed. Obviously, they have fierce battle. Um, let's take out... Let's see what we can do to Freezer here. And then 17 lowers attack. So, yeah, we'll get him to attack Freezer as well. So we got MVP 17, obviously a very good unit. He's one of the very few like non-Vegeta and Piccolo units on this team. Like this team is very much like the Vegeta and Piccolo show. Um, and then of course we have PyCon. This is one of the only teams he's available on. I think the Android 18 from the Universe Survival Saga is on there. Which I find strange because I don't really see... I 17 is kind of on here I guess because he had that rivalry with Piccolo. But like... I'm not really sure about 18 being on the category, but there you go. Um, but I didn't actually bring a PyCon on this team build. I had actually completely forgotten. I put a team build together, um, and I was going to use PyCon. I feel like if I'm going to run this category ever, I want to use him, because it's one of the only categories that he's on. But of course, for the super-only stage of Super Battle Road, you have to use a unit of each type. And I'd already put on the... I wanted to bring the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, because he is such a good tank. And then I obviously wanted to bring along um, the STR Piccolo, um, just so we have another Namekian on the team, so that we can actually trigger um, the transformation for the physical Piccolo. Because you have to have another Namekian on the team for him to actually be able to transform. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'd rather, I'd rather sacrifice not getting the super attack for you. Um, just so that you can get one. And then I decided to bring this in uh, Super Vegeta. He's really, really good. Um, the more your HP, the higher boost he gets. If you're on full, he gets like a full 200% attack and defense boost. So he can be very, very good. Um, and he is rainbow for me. Um, obviously, we have the STR Piccolo. He's one of the uh, few Piccolos that is on the Worthy Rivals category. Um that kind of fits he's got an aoe super attack so obviously very good for super battle road because the problem is the actual piccolo if you pull him um because his leader skill is split between worthy rivals and namekians it means you can kind of plug some of the gaps on the worthy rivals team by bringing units like the nail from piccolo's banner um or any other namekian for example like if you're running double piccolo leads um we'll go ahead and transform why wouldn't we um, if you're running double Piccolo leads, it means you can throw on a unit like, for example, the Transforming Lord Slug. Um, I guess Kami, who's a support unit. But because we have to run the team with the Vegeta friend, um, we can only use Worthy Rivals or Tech units. And so the only per the only like Namekian that fits in under both of those would be the free-to-play <laughs> Lord Slug, um, who I did not want to bring because, you know... He's just really bad. And so Piccolo, we see here his advantage. We are we know that uh, we are going to get super attacked here. 
So we are going to go ahead and focus on him. Try and take him out before he gets the chance to attack. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, we could have brought free to play Lord Slug or the tech uh, Demon King Piccolo from the World Tournament banner. But he's only an extreme type support unit. So that's literally no one else on the team. So the only way we could uh, trigger Piccolo's transformation is to bring basically another Piccolo unit. Um, obviously, like I think every Piccolo unit is on the category. Um, so there are a few different options, like the LR, as much as like, you know, he gets memed because he's probably one of the worst LRs in the game. He's still pretty good defensively, but I decided to bring the STR one just because he does have that AoE super, which is very useful for Super Battle Road. And then like we said, the category is full of Vegeta units as well. So I brought Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, mainly to fill out the fact that we had to bring an AGL unit. Because uh, you can see for yourself, some of you might have some better options uh, in your box than I do. But filtering by worthy rivals and then looking at the AGL units, there weren't a lot of like top tier options. Um, which is why I decided to bring Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And so Super Saiyan 3 t uh, dodging the super attack here. Which uh, fortunately with the way his passive works for so long making him ideal for Super Battle Road. He probably wouldn't have taken any damage anyway. But we will take the uh, we'll take the 3 dodge. And then Super Saiyan 4 yeah, easily going to finish him off here now with the type advantage. So overall I, I don't think the category is very good to be perfectly honest. Um... I'm actually thinking of, I don't know when I'm going to drop it, um, I might record it in the same like session that I'm recording this, but I'm actually going to record a video going through what, in my opinion, are some of the worst categories in the game, and to be honest, out of all the ones that actually have like a full summonable leader, um, I would definitely put Worthy Rivals quite like low down the tier list for categories, because... Obviously, JP, like, if we, had been, if we hadn't got this awakening for Vegeta, like when he came out on JP, he's the, like, Piccolo's the only leader. So if you don't have Piccolo, you can't, you can't run the team. Now, obviously, on Global, the tech Vegeta getting the awakening is very useful because he's a unit that a lot of people will probably have had for quite a long time. Um, I think he was added to the game somewhere around two years before he actually got his awakening. So... There's definitely going to be a lot of people out there that had that unit that have been uh, benefiting massively from his awakening. Um, I guess the only bad thing about the way we've decided to structure this team is that having these two Vegetas together, they don't really link very well. So, I mean, I could put this guy first and just grab all the tech orbs, but I mean, he's not going to tank anywhere near as well as the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Um, I guess I could, though, just to show... We'll let him show off a little bit, see what he can do. I mean, he is going to build up his defense by getting all those tech orbs. He does have very nice defense, but he probably would still get knocked around a bit by a super attack from hit. So we will go ahead and use an item anyway. Um, let's try and stun hit. And then the other good thing about this Piccolo is he gives himself a massive key boost uh, when you're fighting multiple opponents. So, of course, as you can see here on Super Battle Road, he's already on 12 key. So... We don't need to worry about getting super attacks for him. So, but yeah, with all those tech orbs that we picked up and then the uh, Whis active as well, Vegeta should take basically no damage in the front here unless it's from a super. And that is a nice big hit on uh, Frost thanks to the type advantage. See him super attacking Vegeta, that's fine. Yeah, d double digits, no need to worry. <laughs> but Tamo did more damage with his normal attack than... Uh, Frost did with his super there, but I have noticed Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta not really been uh, stunning with his super attacks so far, but this Piccolo does also have the chance to stun. Uh, he stunned Hit, only stunned Hit, but hey, I mean, Hit was the one attacking him at the end of the turn, so I'll take that. And uh, see, now we can see here, so Magetta uh, and Hit are going to super attack. So, let's see. Now, Magetta being STR, that's not ideal. We do have the Whis active, and of course, Piccolo does stack his defense in his untransformed state. So, I guess that's fine. There's no point relying on a crit. Let's go ahead and take out Frost with Piccolo. 
Um, and then I guess since you're attacking a 17, we'll lower your attack. And then let's drop some type advantage damage on to Nageta. So I think we're going to get the Dokon attack next turn. Hmm. We could be looking for, we could be getting a nice big Dokon attack with that tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Depending how the orb changing works out for us. So that would be very nice. Now the one other bad thing about this category that's definitely worth mentioning. A lot of people talked about it in the run up to Piccolo's banner releasing. And that is the fact that not many people, like we said, have pulled for the Piccolo that I know of. Uh, or even actually pulled him for those that did summon. So you'll probably see at the end of the video, um, when I was going through the friends list trying to do something else, I was keeping my eye out for Piccolos ready to record this video. And there are three on my friends list currently, people who are actually set as my friends. Um, and they are all only at 55%. There is, I could not find a single Piccolo that actually had dupes like available on my friends list. Um, so while I was going through doing something else, I did actually come across a Piccolo that was at 79%. So I decided to very quickly grab him and um, let's see, your defense is 177. So even if hit super attacks, it shouldn't kill us but if they all super attack. Hmm. I think we should be okay with the Dokon attack coming. I don't really want to use another item here if we're potentially gonna, we're potentially going to win this turn. So. Oh yeah, let's go ahead. Um, so yeah, I finally managed to find one that actually had dupes. So I jumped into the stage, even though I wasn't ready to record. So <laughs> you'll probably see when we get to the end that my uh, the time for this run is probably going to be multiple hours. Because as soon as I saw a Piccolo come up, I decided to grab him quick and jump into the stage. Because... Uh, like I say, that one guest was the only one that I've seen pretty much all morning that has dupes. So of course that is another big problem, even if you pulled the Piccolo yourself, um, even though a lot of people have this tech Vegeta, you're very unlikely to find anyone with him set as their friend leader. So that's the other big problem, that not a lot of people are going to be running this team. And I think... Even though it's kind of, it works like both ways, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like, I know a lot of people didn't pull for Piccolo because they know that no one's really going to be running him. So it's going to be hard to run his team. But then of course that, like, like I said, it works both ways is that no one pulled for him because they thought that no one was going to pull for him. So it's like a vicious cycle and uh, you're probably never going to see Piccolo friends. Um, there's no point really transforming here since we are about to finish off um, hit. So, of course, we get a nice full heal from the Dokon attack. Everyone else has been taken out. And Piccolo allows us to see that there are no super attacks coming in this turn. It's a real shame because the Piccolo unit himself is really good. Like, his animations are really cool. Um, the way he's built, like what he does, he's very, very good. Um, it's just unfortunate that he doesn't fit on a lot of teams, like even outside of his own team, which I think is one of the things that factors into what makes some of the best units in the game so great. Um, the fact that they just fit on so many teams, whereas unfortunately this Piccolo, not really going to work for you outside of pretty much running his own team. So, uh, let's see, can we get, that's only four. See, I really want uh, to get all of this tech key with our boy here. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and put him in the front. Um, I wonder how much, just how much damage, because we all, we know from previous runs on this stage that the uh, Rose and Zamasu do have a lot of HP, but the Nuka Vegeta is able to put out some pretty crazy damage at times. So let's see. Um, gonna have difficulty super attacking. So that's the other thing I noticed when looking through the category to try and pick out the team. Um, yeah, see we can't get a super from at all, that's really bad. Um, there's not a lot of good support units on this team either. And that's one of the things that I mentioned at the start, like obviously if you were running double Piccolos, you could bring somebody like Kami from the World Tournament banner, who at least is uh, supporting the team with not only some key 
uh, but also a little bit of stat boost. Um, but outside of that, there's not really a huge amount of support units available to you for this category. Um, now obviously MVP17, he gives Key and a bit of a defensive buff, which is really nice. So ideally we would run him as like an off-rotation support unit, but... I didn't really know who else would be good to keep with Piccolo. Now, Piccolo, maybe we could do this, I guess, because Piccolo is kind of self-sufficient. Um, although, I guess he's getting key from 17. Yeah, see, see, if 17 wasn't on the rotation, Piccolo's only going to be at 7, and this Vegeta would only be at 6. So, it's not really ideal. Um, we're going to get two Supers in this turn. Piccolo's got type advantage, so he'll be fine. Um, Rose's gonna Rose will probably deal quite a bit of damage to 17 here, but we do at least have the Icarus active, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, and I'll let you. Let's actually start. Let's do a little bit of damage to uh, Zamasu. I'm trying to leave all this STR key ready for Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on the next turn. Because if we can at least stun one of these two, that definitely uh, helps us out in this final stage. We kind of blew through the first two stages really quickly, but um, Rose and Zamasu do have quite a lot of HP. So he's going to take a little bit longer to take them down. Which does work out nicely for Piccolo, the fact that he infinitely stacks his defense in his untransformed state. And of course having him linked up with the MVP 17 means that he's getting even more defense. So, how much are we going to take here? 150,000 still. Wow, okay. Well, fortunately, with the uh, defensive item active, it's not like we uh, really took huge amounts of damage outside of the super attack, so that's not too bad. But... Okay. So, now we can... Ah, see, this works out perfectly. So, let us go for... Let's try and stun Rosé. Um, I guess really I should attack Rosé with the tech Vegeta because if he doesn't get a crit he's not really going to do a lot of damage to Zamasu so we'll go ahead and do that. We did get a nice big heal from uh, doing that as well so they both super attacked last turn. Yeah I think we should be okay with just using a Princess Snake here. Because that's one thing as well that would be really good, like really useful with this team. If you are running this team, if you pulled the Piccolo yourself with double Piccolo leads, um, by having Piccolo on both rotations, it means you are constantly aware of where the enemy super attacks are going to be. Which, you know, for something like Super Battle Road, you really can't discount how useful that kind of ability is. And uh, fortunately, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta getting the stun on Rosé. That's going to help us out over the next couple of turns, not taking huge amounts of damage. Ooh, additional super as well. Of course, every time this guy supers, he stacks his attack and defense. So, really putting the hurt on Rosé. And it looks like Piccolo's going to stun Zamasu. I've noticed that happens sometimes. I notice it with Margin Vegeta a lot as well. Uh, the LR Margin Vegeta. That sometimes, just as it goes to that character's turn to attack... The stun like icon will appear at the top over their portrait, so you know they're going to stun like before they actually get a chance to do it. So, Rose, oh well, they're both stunned. So you know what? Let us go ahead and transform Piccolo. Now, obviously, like I said, in longer form events, because he stacks his defense before he's transformed. Like if you're going to run him on the legendary Goku event, he can transform from the third turn onwards. But what you would probably want to do is keep stacking his defense all the way up until you get to probably STR UI Goku because obviously then you have type disadvantage and then once you've got that type disadvantage and you want to start uh, you know not just defending well but actually start dishing out some extra damage then would be the time to transform I would say so we're gonna focus fire on Rose since they're both still stunned anyway uh, we should take him out here and uh, that leaves us in a very good position with only Zamasu to worry about. So 1.3 million attack stat on the transformed Piccolo. Obviously bear in mind that on this team build we do have a 120 friendly, well our main leader, 
is 120 plus of course the piccolo leader skill so if we were running double piccolos we would be seeing higher numbers out of everyone on the team but the fact that these guys obviously we are i think at this point it's pretty obvious we are definitely going to clear this run so the team works out very nicely even with the split with a lower uh, leader skill for our leader so that works out quite nicely uh, we're able to get the super here with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, so that's perfect. And then, not the best layout of Tech Key, but he super attacked a couple of times this fight already, so we should be fine. We can't see where the super attack's gonna be, but even if it is gonna be in that final slot against our Int Vegeta, we're on full health, so there's no way he's gonna take us out here. And then Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just going to come through and get the stun anyway. So I think it's pretty safe to say that it's GG's at this point. Because uh, our next rotation is of course double physical units with the already transformed Piccolo and MVP 17. So we are about to deal a serious amount of damage. The unfortunate thing is once Piccolo is transformed, what do the, his name doesn't change. But he then is able to share links with other Piccolo units, which is actually quite interesting. Um, I guess it means you are able to... I hadn't really thought about it until actually seeing it active in the game now. I guess technically that means you could not really have a set link partner for the Piccolo. I mean, I guess we could just... We, so say for example, if we're in the first turn, we could put our units like this and the two Piccolos wouldn't link at all. But then once we get onto the third turn, we can just transform this physical Piccolo straight away and then they link. So there's only one turn where they wouldn't link together. So yeah, I hadn't actually thought about it that way, but that because of that, you could technically run a Piccolo on the team to be his link partner. But of course, as we've said, he doesn't stack his defense after he transforms. So depending on the event that you want to run him on, that's probably not the ideal um, way to use him. Because like we said, for example, the Legendary Goku event, you want to transform him as late as possible. So that kind of only works with running him with another Piccolo if you're going to transform him straight away, which is good for Super Battle Road because stages can only last like three to five turns at times. So you don't necessarily care about multiple turns of stacking with an infinite stacking unit so that's something to think about i hadn't really looked at that in that way before so maybe it could be useful um we are going to be all good here orbs kind of letting us down again uh, i guess it all kind of depends on whether our tech super saiyan blue vegeta over here is actually going to get a crit because if he doesn't we probably won't take zamasu out this turn Although he's been stacking his attack like a few times. He's up to 1.5 mil and we didn't really pick up that many orbs. Awesome. He goes ahead, gets the crit and takes him out. So there you go. That was the Worthy Rivals team versus the Super Stage of Super Battle Road. Um, kind of a weird one. Like the team, like I said, is limited in and of itself already. And then bear in mind the fact that to do this stage, you have to use a unit of each type. Um, yes, he looked 3 hours and 12 minutes, yeah, whereas it very quite clearly did not take that long, you can tell from the length of the video. But we only used a few items, um, not the most cohesive team, but hey, we managed to get through even with the slightly lower leader skill from our tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So I do feel like it really is a shame. Piccolo is a very good unit, but he doesn't. you're not really going to use him that much outside of running his own team. Which, as we already said, is going to be pretty difficult if you can't find the friend leader to use. So, but there you go. Let me think. Down, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about the team? Did you summon for Piccolo? Did you get him? Have you actually been able to find friends to run the team? Because, I, like I said, it's very difficult outside of the couple of 55% ones I've seen on my list. So maybe some of you out there have had some more luck. If, of course, you do have the Piccolo and you're looking for other Piccolo friends, feel free to share your friend codes in the comments. Hopefully uh, we can hook some people up with some Piccolo leads who might need them. So there you go. That is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Go ahead, smash that like button. Let's reach the like goal on today's video for the bonus single summon in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can check out my Twitch or my Discord. Those links are in the description below. And I will see you all again soon.
Have a good one.